Now we shall do circuits. First we shall do the concepts that are related to the circuits. Circuits. So the first thing we should know in circuits is distance from center to any point of the circle is radius of the circle. Distance from center to any point on the circle is radius of the circle. If the center of the circle is h comma k and r is the radius, then the standard form of equation of circle is standard form of equation of circle is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square. If the center is 0 comma 0, then the equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to r square. Any line that is passing through the center of circle and touching the and the circumference of the circle is said to be the diameter. Any line that is passing through the center and touching on the circumference of the circle is diameter. So diameter is 2 times radius. So the important point about diameter which you should remember is diameter makes an angle of 90 degrees on the circumference of the circle. Diameter makes an angle of 90 degrees on the circumference of the circle. Take any point on the circle, it makes an angle of 90 degrees. Any point. So what are the other terms which we should know in circles is we should know what is they called any line joining the two end points on the circumference of the circle is a chord and this is said to be the length of arc this is O, this is A, this is B so AB is said to be the length of arc OAB is said to be sector OAB is sector this part is said to be the minor segment minor segment AB is said to be length of arc which is a minor arc this part is the major arc this part OAB is the sector of the circuit now what is the circumference of a circle? circumference of a circle is if r is the radius then the circumference of circle is given by 2 pi r and area of the circle is given by pi r square if you need to find length of arc if i know the central angle and if i know the radius so length of arc is given by r into theta if theta is in radians theta is in radians if it is in degrees then the length of arc is given by theta by 360 into 2 pi r if theta is given in degrees if you need to find area of sector area of the sector o a b is a sector which we need to find so area of the sector is given by if theta is in if they use theta in radians then the area of the sector is given by if r is the radius of r square theta is the area of the sector if theta is in degrees then theta by 360 into pi r square is the area of the sector if theta is in degrees if this is the formula when theta is in radians i should use this formula when theta is in degrees so next thing is if i need to find the segment generally minor segment if i need to find area of the minor segment it is given by Suppose if I need to find this area, it is given by area of the sector, area of sector OAB minus area of triangle OAB will give me the area of the segment, area of the triangle OAB will give me the area of the segment, minor segment. So next we should know some properties of chord important properties of chord in a circle if you draw a line from center to the chord at 90 degrees it bisects the chord in a circle if you draw a line from center to the chord at 90 degrees it bisects the chord and vice versa so the next important property related to the chord is a chord makes an angle if a chord makes an angle of theta on the circumference of the circle 
it makes an angle of 2 theta at the center of the circle if an quad makes an angle of theta on the circumference of the circle it makes an angle of 2 theta on the center of the circle next we should know tangent properties so tangent is a line which touches the circle exactly at one point so the angle between the radius and the tangent at the point of contact is 90 degrees the last property which you should know so that you can solve any the any question that is related to exam is tangents drawn from this <coughs> two tangents drawn from the same point to the circle are equal in length means OA should be equal to the OB and since this is radius if this is the center this is also 90 this is also 90 and if you try to let it be P so this angle is also equal to this because these two triangles are congruent so length of the tangents drawn from an external point to the circular equal in length so go through all these concepts if you know these concepts you will be able to solve any question and you should have all these concepts in your mind